I get comments from time to time where people are quick to criticize me and say to me, you always talk about your moon but never your sun, why is that, this, that, the other. And I spent my whole life up until the last few eight years, I'd say, yeah, definitely eight years, talking about how I'm an Aquarius sun and da 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 And although, yes, I absolutely identify as an Aquarius, how can I not? Because the sun represents your identity, your core personality traits. Of course, you're going to relate with your sun sign. Of course, you're going to identify with it. But I spent my whole life up until I found out about the moon and the moment I found out my moon sign it was almost like there was a paradigm shift in my life because astrology has always been in my life I was always one of those girls that would come back from school and I grew up with the internet and I would check my horoscope every day and check my horoscope to make sense of my crush that I had because I was a bit boy crazy I was definitely a bit boy crazy when I was younger I've definitely calmed down so much to the point where I'm like if I had to be single for the rest of my life I would be completely okay with that because I don't really feel single. I feel like I'm in a relationship with the divine. Like, and I know a lot of people won't understand that, but so I'd come home all the time to check my horoscope and da 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 da. And I would look at the back of the magazines, and whenever I'd get a chance, I would look up my horoscope all the time. And I wouldn't just look at my sun sign, I would read all of them. I'd read all of them because it was my Scorpio moon. Like, I don't just care about my sun sign, I want to know about every other sign. Like, I was one of those people, and when I would read every other horoscope, it would just relate to me, and it would kind of confuse me a bit, because I would be like, hang on a minute, how come my sun sign horoscope makes sense, and I resonate with it, but when I read all the other horoscopes, they also feel like they're about me, and they, like, match up everything I'm going through and that's of course because we are all 12 zodiac signs we have all 12 zodiac signs in our chart so of course they're gonna make sense on some level but I didn't understand that when I was like a teenager and then when I was going through another cycle of my spiritual awakening because your whole life is essentially a spiritual awakening but we have moments where you know there's some stages where the awakening is a little more intenser I guess and there's, you know, different levels to awakening as well. And I don't just see it as a spiritual awakening. I see it as a soul awakening, really remembering and reawakening to not of just this spiritual aspect of life, but also knowing that I am a spiritual being and recognizing and remembering and reawakening to my soul, my soul's essence. And when I was going through that, one of the things that came into my life was astrology, but on a whole nother level. On a whole nother level, meaning my whole life I knew about astrology and I knew my sun sign, but I heard the term moon sign. I heard somebody say moon sign. I was watching like this random, I think it was a tarot video, and somebody said moon sign. And I don't really watch tarot videos at all. Like, I was introduced to them, like, when I was going through, like, my spiritual awakening at the time, and I was interested in them, so I would watch them from time to time, but tarot has never really been something that I've been into as much as people probably would think I am. Like, I love the art of it. Yes, it's a divination tool, but I'm not somebody who works with tarot all the time. I don't even think I've used tarot all year long, and we're almost into 2025. Like, I use it sometimes. Sometimes I wake up and I get a clear message of you need your cards to understand what is coming through. So then I will. But other than that, I, I don't really need to use that as a divination tool. If I have a question, I have other ways of getting answers. And I also understand that not everything needs to be answered because there is certain lessons we need to learn. There's a certain mystery and magic about life as well. And no matter how much you want to know everything and be in control, and that's a Scorpio thing, you can't always know absolutely everything. Some things will be presented to you when you're not even ready for them or you're not even aware of them because that's just a mystery and magic to life. And when I heard the term moon sign, of course, as a Scorpio moon, I googled it and then I found a moon calculator on a website and I typed in like my date of birth and everything and before, and I think I've mentioned this story before, before I even clicked on submit so I could reveal my moon sign, in my head, I immediately got 
like the sign come right in the forefront of my mind and I was like I know I'm a Scorpio I know I'm a Scorpio and the reason why is because I'd always have like I guess everyone kind of does I'd always be like rolling my eyes around Scorpios and be like oh they're this that the other because of the experiences I've had with fellow Scorpios mostly like Scorpio men and I guess it's like the conjunction we probably would have where there's kind of like a power struggle between us so you know men tend to those that have like really strong Scorpio energy tend to want to control me or like they feel threatened by my Scorpio Luna feminine power because I'm just so confident and sure of my magic and my power that I'm not the type of girl that is relying on you or needs you or needs you for validation and that is really triggering especially for a man who has like a Scorpio son like you know so there's always been like friction and tension that I've experienced with Scorpio men I've also had like friends tell me about their experiences with like having like Scorpio parents or friends and what have you and so in my head I just had this negative perception but as soon as I was about to hit submit something just came into my mind in my awareness and it was like the sign just was presented right to me and I was like I'm a Scorpio I know it I know it and I was like freaking out over it like I was like wow the thing that I don't want to be I am and when I hit submit of course it said you are a Scorpio moon and then I started to, of course, as a Scorpio Luna, dive deep. And I had like my first reading by a Scorpio Luna. And it changed my life. It was such a paradigm shift. Like I remember, now before I had my first astrology reading, I already had an understanding of astrology and I knew all the fundamentals and what have you. Okay? But after I had my astrology reading, like that just changed everything for me and the astrologer was so and she was not just an astrologer she was a psychic as well so of course and she was a Scorpio Luna so it just changed my life like I remember exactly how I felt as soon as that reading ended and it was a really bad day when I had that reading because I was going through a lot of health issues so you know I was losing a lot of my hair I kept getting sick my immune system was so weak so I kept getting like the flu and the cold and it was just really bad and I was trying to find answers from anything I could I was trying to work with crystals I was trying to uh, work with Reiki and every astrology as well and when I had my astrology reading it made complete sense to why I was going through so many health issues and it's just part of like something I have to work through in this lifetime it's part of my karma is working through you know my mind body soul and spirit and living a very holistic life lifestyle so I've had to make a lot of lifestyle changes and that's why sometimes I can't relate with other people especially my age and other girls my age because I just live a completely different life in fact when I started to get into like astrology and the Akashic and Reiki and all these things that you know normal people think are weird and crazy and not real I started to distance myself from friends because I knew the judgments even though they probably weren't like direct with their judgments or their criticism or their opinions I still didn't want to have anyone in my life that would judge me or even like ask me too many questions to the point where I felt like I had to keep explaining myself like I just didn't want to be in that situation I just felt the need that I had to let everyone go and that I would meet people like myself that there wouldn't have to be an explanation because we just get it like there could be discussions and exchanges of ideas but like I wouldn't have to justify myself or explain myself tidelessly like I just didn't want to have that energy in my life and also I had friends that were really like conservative and you know religious and I just didn't want that type of judgment because I feel like religious people are the most judgmental people ever like they really are and they're always trying to like bring you into their religion or try to convert you like because they think they're gonna get like this good karma or good energy I just don't want to go through that and I'm used to being isolated I'm used to you know not fitting in and feeling alienated and it's not something I wanted to go through in adulthood again so I kind of just let a lot of people go I let them go like whoever needs to go will go I was okay with that I didn't feel like I was missing out on anything and I just let it be the way it was meant to be with love of course and i know the timeline i'm on i know the paradigm shift that i was going through at the time and that i continue to go through and i know 
what this life means for me and I can't have anybody's opinions or judgments or criticism hold me back. I can't have any drama in my life and anyone that I feel like is going to bring that into my life, I, there's just no space for it. And also being an Aquarian, this goes to my sun sign, I just live a very different life and I'm not just an Aquarius sun, I have a stellium in Aquarius, I have Uranus in Aquarius. So, you know, my life is very different to everyone else's life. You know, what everyone else does, it just doesn't work for me in my life. Like what everybody wants, I don't want. I've never desired the things that other girls do, that my friends do, that what all the women around me desired. I have no desire for those things. My priority in life is my purpose, which is linked to my spirituality, my ascension, like that is what I live and breathe every single day through every single thing that I do. Even through the food I eat, it's connected to my spirituality and my ascension. But as I was saying, my whole life, I've looked to my sun sign for answers, but the moment I found out my moon sign, it was a paradigm shift. 